GM, if you remember David Jabusher, uh, bless his history and his life. Um, and so when he called my, my attorney uh, and indicated that he wanted to sign me for, for the New York Knicks, I said, this is a dream come true, absolutely. Tell me where to sign. Which, for, for each of you guys, please, which team and which player did you enjoy beating the most? Well, how about you? Well, for the Knicks, the Celtics had always been our nemesis. Like, the Knicks could always beat them for 45 minutes, 46 minutes. <laughs> it's changed. It's still happening, right? <laughs> so, the Knicks fans have suffered so long losing to the Celtics. And like Earl was talking about, if there's one team we hated were the Celtics because we used to play this uh, Saturday night in New York and then Sunday at the Boston Garden. So when we get to the airport and get on the plane, the first guy you see sitting there is Bill Russell. Okay. <laughs> With his arms crossed in first class. And we were riding in the back and all the selfies were riding in the front. So, so we hated those guys. So we <laughs> Girl, how about you? Well, we hated these guys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, it, um, we're just, we're kind of like mirror images of each other. You know, the, the Baltimore Bullets and the, and, the, and the Knicks at that time with, you know, Clyde and I, um, Kevin Lockery and, and, um, and, 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 and Barnett, Gus Johnson and, and the Busher, Bradley and, and, and Marion. As a matter of fact, Bradley was always on the left and Marion was always on the right, politically. <laughs> <laughs> Willis Reed and uh, and uh, and Wes Uso. So you know we kind of like mirrored and battled back and forth. And for us, you know, finally getting over the hump and, and beating the the uh, Knicks in uh, I think '71, and then we lost to the Bucks in the championship was probably our biggest thing because one of the things you have to do in order to get to the championship is beat your nemesis, and they were our nemesis. How about you, Bernard? With all due respect to your teammates, Bernard King <laughs> created his own rivalries with his performances. What, what was, what, who was your biggest rival, and, and who did you enjoy manning up against the most? Well, you know, our biggest rivalry was the Boston Celtics. Uh, you know, that, that whole history of the Knicks against the Celtics and the series that these guys represented. And I, I got to tell you, I, I grew up, as I said, in Brooklyn, but as a young kid, I used to watch these two guys go at it. Earl Monroe and Walt Frazier. It was a beautiful thing to watch. And I recall uh, my senior year of high school, I uh, was selected all city. And what that meant is that we had an opportunity to come here to Madison Square Garden. And I saw my first professional basketball game uh, live with the New York Knicks versus who else? The Boston Celtics. <laughs> and as a member of the Knicks, we, we beat Detroit one year in 83 before uh, playoffs in the first round. Uh, that was a really tough series. We beat them in five, double overtime, I think it was. And then the next series was against the Boston Celtics. And, you know, Larry Bird was a very cocky guy. <laughs> he was the type of player that would run by the team bench and said, Coach, you better get someone else in here to guard me because I don't think he can handle me tonight. <laughs> but by the same token, I was getting 40 on him, so it worked. <laughs> And we were fortunate we took Boston to seven, and, and, and unfortunately, we didn't have home court advantage during that series, and we went on to, uh, to lose a tough seventh game. And that team, in terms of Boston, they, they had five Hall of Famers, and I had some excellent teammates. We were a great team. We had great chemistry, but uh, we didn't have that kind of talent to, to offset that ball club. To give you an idea of the